Well, we have a hand from the big game, cash game, where we're going to see Robert Williamson miss out on an opportunity to get maximum value with his aces, which he starts by limping here on the cutoff. What the hell is that? Meanwhile, Viffer behind him raises with eight deuce of clubs. That is not the hand I would choose to isolate a limper with, but uh, Viffer a little more aggressive than I am. You should always be asking yourself, does my betting pattern display strength or weakness? So Robert Williamson limp re-raises now, which is a great way to announce the strength of your hand. So not a fan of the line he is taking here so far. Looks like he's going to bet out on queen 5-3. Make a pretty standard continuation bet here after re-raising pre-flop. And Viffer cool. with a backdoor flush draw and backdoor straight draw is going to make the call for some reason. Guess he still doesn't believe Robert Williamson, who now checks on the ace, perhaps hoping to induce a bluff from Viffer. Check who does not take the bait here. He checks behind with his eight high. The 10 of diamonds lands on the river. Robert Williamson needs to consider how he can maximize the value of his aces. So if you were in his position, would you check, bet small, or bet big? The correct answer is check. That allows your opponent an opportunity to bluff with his missed draws and to make a value bet with hands like a queen or a weak ace or two pair. Instead, Williamson leads out here for 2200 and Viffer is going to escape without putting any more money in this pot. And so Williamson takes a odd line with his aces and fails to capitalize. You can only play these hands and if it gets hard, shout out.